So today we'll be testing the Radeon RX 6600 XT in GTA 5. We'll be testing at 1080p, 1440p and 4K. And uh, for now, this is our settings. Uh, everything is uh, cranked up uh, pretty high. There's no uh, presets that we can use. So I've just gone and set everything to high except for MSAA. So the reflection quality is set to two and uh, the MSAA itself is also set to two. We've got all the rest on ultra except for motion blur, obviously. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so we are playing with uh, Franklin. Yeah, let me just reset the numbers. Uh, the reason why I'm playing with Franklin is because he's got a higher driving skill and I'm going to be needing all the help that I can get. I'm not a very good driver in games, if you haven't uh, noticed. Now, uh, I haven't played GTA 5 in quite some time, so I'm just going to be driving around in the city here because it is quite demanding. Uh, we'll be driving around a few blocks, see what the performance is like, and then we'll up the resolution to 1440p and then 4K. At 4K, I'm just going to see if we can actually maintain a 60 frames per second uh, gameplay experience. Not entirely sure what settings we need to change, but uh, judging so far at uh, 1080p, we're getting 144 frames per second average. So uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to get 60 frames per second at 4K. Now I must say I'm pretty impressed with this uh, GPU CPU combo. This is a 12400F, which is not uh, really the most high end CPU that you can get, but I use that to pair with uh, budget or lower end and all the GPUs. And uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. I mean, we're at uh, 1080p and uh, GPU utilization is sitting at 100% or 99% uh, most of the time. So that means that we are not uh, CPU bottlenecked. I uh, shouldn't be surprised really because it is quite an old game. All right, so just going to make a, a few turns here and uh, that's the wrong button. What was that? Is that a cinematic view? Um, that uh, tanked our 0.1% uh, lows. Uh, that was quite a big stutter there. I was actually trying to do a handbrake turn and uh, usually that button is uh, handbrake turn in other games but uh, apparently not in GTA. Alright so uh, I managed to complete a, a nice handbrake turn there and uh, we're going to leave it there for 1080p. You can see that uh, we've got an average of uh, 147 frames per second, 1% uh, lows of uh, 112 frames per second and our 0.1% lows are sitting at 2 frames per second. But I'm just going to blame that on a finger fault. Alright let's see what the performance is like at 1440p. All right, we're now at 1440p and uh, we just reset our numbers there and it uh, looks like we'll be maintaining 100 frames per second. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. I'm um, ducking once again, pressing the wrong buttons here. Uh, the game looks a little bit darker now. Not sure if it's just uh, the color output to my monitor. Um, in post uh, recording, it should look okay. I'll fix that. But uh, if I do drive into more objects than usual, then uh, it's because I really can't see that well. Uh, that's just my excuse anyway. Alright, so uh, the reason why I'm doing a GTA 5 video is because uh, Steam's actually got a 70% uh, sale on uh, most Rockstar games at the moment, or up to 70%, uh, don't get that wrong. And uh, you can uh, pick up uh, GTA 5 for quite cheap if you haven't uh, got it yet. And uh, it's actually a pretty good deal if you go have a look at Steam. Paying full price for such an old game is uh, it's just unnecessary. All right, so, so far we've managed to average uh, 99 frames per second. Now, just so you know, uh, driving is actually a little bit more demanding in this game, as in most games. That's because uh, you are moving a little bit faster than when on foot, and uh, that means that assets need to load in a little bit quicker. So uh, we managed to, to get a 99 frames per second average. Uh, if we do lower some settings, we will be able to, to get a little bit higher. But uh, personally, I don't think it's uh, necessary for a game like GTA 5. GTA 5 uh, plays uh, very well, especially with the controller, even at 60 frames per second. All right, so there we have it. Uh, we've already discussed the average. We've got our 1% low sitting at 77 and our 0.1% lows at 76. Now that's actually very consistent. All right, let's see what happens at 4K. All right, we're now at 4K and uh, things are looking a little bit rough. Uh, we're not uh, getting our 60 frames per second here. The game looks uh, gorgeous, by the way, but uh, this is not this is not ideal. I would not be able to play like this. Uh, the change in input latency going from 100 frames per second to 40 frames per second is quite noticeable, even if you are playing on a controller. So uh, 4K at uh, pretty much uh, highest settings uh, doesn't seem to be 
the way to go if you've got an RX 6600 XT. But then again, we don't really expect it to perform extremely well at 4K. As uh, I mentioned in my previous videos, it's got a limited 128-bit uh, memory bus, and uh, it means that it falls off a little bit once you start increasing resolutions. Right, so uh, let's see what we can do to get a 60 frames per second experience at 4K. All right, and we're back. We had to restart the game for our settings to take effect. Uh, so let me just show you what settings I've got here. And the menu now bugged out. It's uh, uh, not doing so well. Uh, not sure why. Anyway, there we go. So here's our settings again. We're at 4K. And uh, I just uh, changed everything that was on uh, very high or ultra just to high. I reduced the population density, variety, and distance scaling. So you can see everything is just set to high. I don't have uh, MSAA reflections on anymore. But uh, everything else is uh, still set to pretty high settings. All right. So this is... Uh, not too bad and uh, i believe we should be able to get uh, 60 frames per second uh, consistently uh, now we're not in the exact same location as i said we unfortunately had to restart the game but uh, here we go now gta is uh, quite old as i mentioned uh, quite a few times uh, before and uh, so it shouldn't be a surprise that a gpu from 2020 can actually run this at uh, 4k but uh, just remember that the 6600 xt was never aimed uh, at doing 4k uh, Due to the limited uh, memory bus and uh, to actually be able to play this game which is still a demanding game even today uh, at 60 frames per second at uh, high settings at 4k is uh is a really commendable uh, gta 5 is perfectly fine at 60 frames per second uh, i'm not feeling any uh, additional uh, input latency it's not uh, hampering my gameplay and i think i, I even drive it a little bit better than uh, what i did uh, previously just uh, look at that uh, Let's just uh, try and cut that out, please. All right, um, I'm not going to be wasting too much time at uh, 4K. As you can see, you can comfortably play this game at 4K with no issues. Uh, there's no uh, noticeable stutters or anything. Just look at the frame time graph there. It's quite consistent, and our 0.1% lows are sitting at 54 frames per second. And uh, that's a very good indication of a very little stuttering. All right, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.